All right, I, uh, I've had somebody ask me quite a bit lately to make a video about how to make one of these. And uh, it's a SCR, SCR box uh, and a, a heating element. It's a 240 volt SCR box. And the one I'm, uh, I'm about to show you how to make doesn't have this or this because they're not needed. I don't use them. It just has a knob, LCD screen, shows how much power, and on and off switch. My buddy made this one for me a long time ago, and ever since I've been looking at it, see how they're made, so I can go and make more. And, I mean, it works. I don't use uh, this and this, but uh, Toxic Water made this for me, gave it to me as a gift. He gave me this, I made this myself. Um, and then now I make these boxes, but I make them just a little bit different. I'm using this one to show you, you know, how it looks. So, you know, you plug it in and you plug your element in here. It's a 5,500 watt element. Um, you just clamp that onto your still or, you know, whatever you're running. It's two inch. I use these, uh, I really like these. They got two inch tri-clamp fitting on them already. And you know, it just pulls off. That's what they look like. I'll put links to everything in the description, the whole build, even the element. I'll put links in the description. And uh, if you want to tackle this project, feel free. It's, <laughs> it's a little rough. There's a lot to it, and I hope that you can see through video. You can't see. I mean, I ain't no electrician, man. I just, I built a box, did it on video. I hope it's good enough. Um, hope it makes you happy. Because <laughs> I know uh, somebody kept saying, you said you was going to make one. You said you was going to make one. I made you one, man. Here's a video. How to build a 5,500 watt, or how to build a 240 volt SCR controller with a 5,500 watt heating element. Both parts. Both these things. Hope you like it. The first step before I do anything, I'm going to wire up. I'm going to solder some wires to this AC DC converter. This is for our fan. So we could run our fan. But the reason why I do this first is because I'm going to have to epoxy this to our case. So, black, white, black, white. Get you some little cheap wires, soldering iron, some solder. I'm not going to explain how to solder. Go watch another video if you need to. That's the first step to building this SCR box. That's what you want. Now she's ready to epoxy. All right, I lied. <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is retrofit your fan in here, right? So you want to take, get four bolts, little tiny bolts. And if you have to water those out a little bit, those holes, there's a little bit of room to play with. I usually end up having to waller them out. So you want to bolt this here right and then you, up top you'll have your four holes so that's your marker then you want to unbolt this and set it aside and drill holes in here so that air could get in because we're going to have our fan mounted up here to take heat out of our box and then we're going to have holes we're going to have holes down here too so air is going to come in, go out, 
whatever, cool it down. I'll show you the next step. All right, before we do anything, we're going to cut these wires and strip them off this fan. All right, once that's done, you need to find four nuts and bolts that fit. Mine wouldn't fit, so I had to wire this hole out with this drill bit. But uh, now let's zip it to the box. So once the pilot holes are there for your fan, you're gonna wanna put a bunch of air holes in between these four holes. There we have it. There's our fan. We got it bolted in place. We got holes drilled out down here. So air can circulate through our box. All right, now we're gonna take this, and put our thermal paste all over this. We're gonna screw this to the heat sink like that. Thermal paste, thermal compound, whatever you want to call it. Arctic silver, silver number five, if you have to go buy this. All right, so I got that heat sink and everything put on. I want these two things epoxied to this case right there where they are. So I got some epoxy. I'm going to mix this up. I got some A and B. This is really good stuff, and you could use as much as you want. You could make as much as you want. So you, here's the top and the bottom. You just flip that up and uh, mix it together. And it uh, becomes part of the case. So I'm going to epoxy these two things. I'll, uh, I'll get you a view when i got epoxy all over it. Remind you of roofing. Yeah, it's like roof cement. And you like Bob Ross. Hold that. It's a happy little tree. Yeah, it's paint. It's a happy little tree. Bro, he'd paint a picture with this shit. You know he would. Mm -hmm. See that? <clears throat> and then we're just going to put some weight on these overnight, let them sit. Put as much epoxy on it as you can, cover it, and uh, tomorrow this will be part of the plastic. There'll be no doubt. It'll be all one thing. If you're watching this video and you're like, man, I want to build one of them. No, you don't. Yeah, it, it could be a pain <laughs> in the butt. It's, it's tedious. The only reason we offer this product is just to offer it. But once you're done, it's nice. It's fancy. All right, so now I'm going to uh, let that dry overnight. I'm going to get the front cover ready. Get a T-square ink pen. This is the LCD screen. It gets mounted through there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. A Dremel tool, razor knife, whatever I could find. But uh, oh, we'll come back to you when that's done. This is where we're at. This in, this in. So your knob comes with this. Should be one kit where this comes with that. Uh, make sure it fits through the back. Let's 
good and snug. Make sure it fits in there good and snug. I'm gonna get two wires. I'm gonna solder to this. And I'm gonna install this in here with the wires ready to be hooked. All right, it's like, I, I'm not a, uh, I don't have like any special wiring colors. I just use wires that I got laying around. So the color of them don't mean shit. So keep that in mind when you're, you're making this video. But this is a switch, right? It goes with your, your SCR bot, your SCR relay. Need to solder a wire here and here, right? It has four prongs. Leave this one empty. Leave this one empty. Wire here. Wire here. Right? That's all you need. Solder it. Beautiful. Now we're going to put it in our box. And uh, I'll show you the next step. So put your nut on here. There's a little set screw in there. So put that on. Tighten up your set screw. And then, then you got your front case finished. This is called a cable gland. And the cable I got is pretty big. So you need some big ones. That's a size 21. Drill a hole in here. Put your cable gland in there. Like that. I'm gonna do it over here too. Hey, shut the fuck up over there. Hey, fuck you. Shut the fuck up. I'm making a fucking video. This is what you should have so far. You got your cable glands on your box. You got your fan installed up here. You got your converter. You got your relay. Over here, you got your LCD screen, your on-off switch, and your uh, uh, your knob. You got your knob. So you got these two wires. These two wires soldered. You got four wires coming from your converter. Now we're going on to the next step. We're going to start wiring this up. This is the type of wire that we have. Oh. A little overkill because it's all they had at Menards. If you want three wires, you want 10 gauge, 600 V, 10 AWG, 3 C, S00 W. That's the kind of wire you want. But what it's saying is it's 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 pretty much 10 gauge. It's some heavy duty shit. But they insulate this and it's super thick. Uh, it's thicker than what, like this is the size it should be, but around here, this super thick heavy duty shit. So it makes it kind of a pain in the ass to uh, work with. Or as you could get some that's the same thickness on the inside, but you'll need smaller cable glands, smaller wire, but it's the same, it's the same thickness. It's the same gauge. It's just, this takes up a lot more space. You need bigger cable glands and that's what we have. So that's what we're using. Uh, let's get it. We're gonna get about a, uh, I'd say what? About 16 inches on each side, 12 to 16 inches coming out. We'll see, I'll show you. So you need two of these, like this. On one end of one, you need this. On one end of the other, you need that. Like that. Or, you could wire it straight to that kind of plug, because that's how I hook mine up. But I do all my boxes like this. Because this is what's the, uh, what the normal hookup is but uh we could do it any which way i just made for me i just made a uh see right here where i'm i'm showing there's a two 240 volt outlet i uh i made that 
I made an extension cord adapter on one end. One end I plug this in. On the other, I plug it into there. So that's how that, that works. Uh, but I'm gonna wire this up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shove these through and I'm gonna show you how to wire it up. I'll do these last. I'm just showing you what you need. You need two wires, about 12 to 16 inches long, if not longer. This is what I got. So wiring this up, the way I'm gonna wire it up <clears throat> is for this to be over here on the left side. And for this to be over here on the right side. So if you want this on the right, then then do this opposite and also if you have uh some of this wire and you have a uh a red a black and a green then then your red wire and white wire that's what i'm using okay so if you have a red wire on your wire then just use it as i'm using the white okay because there's different colored wire and I'm gonna use the black and green. Same, I have another box where, where the wire's red, black, and green. But uh, but yeah, that's what I'm using. If you have any, any other color, just use that as, as my, red, my red wire. But I'm gonna wire to the red wire for my fan. And then, you see this white one down here? I'm gonna hook it to the black wire for my fan. <clears throat> I know I should have switched around the colors, but I did it when I did it, and that's how I did it. So, these two, and those two. Hook them up with wire nuts. All right, so that's what we got. Those two hooked up to the fan wires. These two here. Got this one going to the red to the fan, this one going to the black to the fan. I moved this wire out of my way so I could show you. Now, let's do the next step. The power, the power inside, your plug-in, on the, uh, the black and the white, you want to put these alligator clips. But on the green wire, which if you have a different setup, would also be the green wire. Okay, so the green wire from this side goes to the green wire this side. We're going to connect these two with a wire nut. Then I'll show you what to do with the rest of them. All right, this came with your LCD. You want to screw it in here. There's a, right here and here, gonna loosen these screws, screw that in. It's pretty self-explanatory. All right, <clears throat> so you have to put this wire through this wire, right? Then you gotta connect this one to, you got your toggle switch here. You got your on and off. This black cord connects right here. See that? And this is around that wire. Let me move this shit out of the way. <clears throat> this has to be around the black wire coming, coming into your box, power. This, this reads how much. All right, shut her off. Now, also the white wire coming in here, which if you have a different kind of uh, cord, might be a red cord, is going to go right here. So there's those two alligator clips. This is your power coming in to the box. So you need two cords with alligator clips. Right? We'll put one here. I'm 
I'm gonna shorten this one some. It's gonna be a shorty. All right, so my red cord from my LCD, this white cord going from my toggle switch, and this white cord from the outgoing, I'm going to zip, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put a wire nut on all three of these together. Got those. So, my green cord coming from the in and the out, or from the in and the out, and this one here that runs to my my AC DC converter that goes to my fan. So the one I have the white wire right here goes to these two green ones. All three of these cords get uh, uh, all three of these cords go together. Like that. The green coming from here, the green coming from here, and the white one going to my converter. That runs my fan. So I almost forgot. We got my red and my my white one going to my toggle switch, the white one coming from the outgoing, and I forgot to add this to that. So I gotta zip this into there. Not there. Yeah. So I have to put this in this. This also goes from my little DC converter. Let me get a... It's the black cord on the left. This one here. This cord goes... See, this is why nobody makes a video of this. This, this shit's so hard to see on video and explain but anyways that goes to this bunch it goes to here all my on my on and off switch this is my outgoing line this is my incoming line so this is electric comes in here goes out there you could do this backwards switch it around but i can't hold this camera and do this at the same time so I'm going to un undo this wire nut, and I'm going to wire nut this wire into the these. So all four of these are going to be together. So there we have it. The white from... The white from my outgoing, going to the white on my on-off switch. The red from my LCD, and the black from my DC converter all go together so this wire isn't long enough so i'm gonna make an extension i'm gonna put this extra wire on here this is the black cord coming from my lcd screen i need to make it longer because it's got to go into here so this green cord going from my toggle switch and i'm gonna show you my toggle switch it's like that, the line up, the circle down. So right here, this goes here. So does the black cord from my LCD screen. So like that. Now we got the, the black and the green. The one that's here is going to go into here. And the one that's here, the green one, is going to go into here. Almost done. There we have it. There's only one wire left. And that is the black cord from the outgoing. It goes right here. This is everything. Big rat's nest. Pain in the ass.
feel free to build one of these. <laughs> but if you don't want to build one, I will build you one. PhilBillyMoonshine.com That's it. That is it. Feel free to pause this shit and look at this thing right here. Here's where you want to pause it. Boom. And just stare at all this craziness that's inside this box. I'm going to try and uh, put this plastic piece back on. There we go. Plastic protector. That's it. We'll put this back together. We'll hook up the cords on the ends. It's time to put this cord on. Coming into the box and going out of the box. Self explanatory. This all comes apart. Slide this back onto here. So, got the green. It's green goes in the bottom here, right? Green goes to there, right? White and black. White, black. Green, white, black. what you got put it back together time to wire this one up <clears throat> green white black green white black all right so we got your power in that's done Box is finished. There's your power out. So, this goes to your wall. Your heating element hooks up to here. It's finished, except for the most important part. That's it. That's the most important part right there. You gotta have a Phil Billy Moonshine sticker. Look how beautiful that is. Now, <clears throat> now, I'm gonna build the, the heating element for it. So, SCR box done, heating elements next. Need one of those, need one of these. This has to stick through here, so we need to drill a hole. You need a third hand. I'm gonna drill a hole right here and right here. So, On the inside, you put this down, drill a couple holes, put a couple nuts, all right? So you can mount that in there. Before we mount it, I'm gonna go ahead and wire it up. All right, I gotta drill a hole here so I can put this big giant cable in. Man, I wish I could find some smaller wire. But uh, drill a hole here so we can run our wire up that's what you want. Now I'm gonna wire this up, pull it back through and mount it in there. I put my green on the G, my white on the Y, my black on the X. That's how I do it. That's what the inside looks like. Put the case back together. Time for the best part again. Feel 
little Billy Moonshine sticker. Look at that beautiful, beautiful, badass son of a bitch. Feel free to build one yourself, but if you don't want to, fillbillymoonshine.com. I really like these. They're quality. Um, so, if you're going to build this, you're going to need to get this nice heating element. You could use a shitty one if you want, but this is the one I use. And they come with this, but you're also going to have to get a tri clamp to put it on. It does not come with a tri clamp. And it just fits right in there. So, this just goes right there like that. Goes inside your, uh, whatever you're heating up. Pretty badass. And you could, you could change that if you wanted to. God damn. She's in there tight. You ain't never had something. So, so you could flip this around uh, one entire rotation, but it would pretty much be the same thing. Or you could do it here and here. If you wanted it to uh, be like that, either or, that's how you make it. I use these big badass Denord uh, heating elements. I think these are a lot nicer than anything else out there. They work well. I've used them quite a bit. And... Uh, that's it. Parts list in the description. If you don't want to make it, I will make it for you.